There's a carrot. I gotta get that carrot out. Not unless it's a red one. There's only a certain kind of carrots I wanna grow. I don't wanna risk cross pollinization with a type I don't want. And I bought some cheap seeds. I'm not even sure if they're GMO or not. So I don't want any of that GMO in my garden. Let's see. Oh, look at my aronia. Look at my aronia berry. Look at that. Okay. I'm excited. Look at that. Cool. Okay. Um, all right. I can tell the difference between current year growth or the new growth and the old growth. So I'll do a better job this year when I prune it. I was overwhelmed by the instructions and I was scared to cut any branches, but I'm making some progress. I've actually got the vase shape going on with this one and could probably even cut a few more branches back, which if I'm brave, brave enough, I'll do that. Let's see. Here's another good spot for planting stuff. Pull the, let's see, especially over here. I think this will be carrots. Maybe on the edge I'll do carrots. Perfect. Carrots for sure, right there. And then right here is pretty good soil as an edge. I don't know what I should put there. But anyway, I don't know. A persimmon tree. I need to prune that this year. That one's challenging. That one's a little different than the other fruit trees I have, but I'll figure it out. I think you're supposed to keep the middle open. If that's the case, I'm just going to go right in there and get that one in the middle. Cut it out. I mean, that looks like it would work. That's what I'm going to do. Unless my Googling tells me otherwise. Hmm. This is definitely good soil. Awesome soil. All back here is awesome. I could plant all sorts of things. Start on this corner, work my way down. Tons of soil. Tons of soil. I didn't have that last year. And let me see over here, around my, my Celeste fig, I don't have soil. 
and I have planned to put something over here. I'm gonna have to drag in some bags of soil. Let's see. Wow, everything's got buds. Look, everything's got buds. This is my seed buckhorn. Um, that's pretty cool. Another persimmon. A pear tree. Another plum tree right there. And then the aronia down at the little short bush. And then over on the right is a cherry. And then back at the back is a plum. And gummy berry. Let's see how my goji berries do. Oh, and here's good soil. Here's good soil. Yep. That'll be awesome. Hmm. What can I plant there? That's to die for soil. That'll work. And where's my... Here's my... That's where my goji berry should be. Um, oh, ha, ha, ha. There's something down in there. Okay, it's mighty wet, though. The one I've got over here is... Phoenix. Pretty wet, but it has rain, but it's a little wet in there. Um, I don't have my glasses to tell if that's um, got buds on it or not. But anyway, oh, there's something over there. Plant something there. I think that's going to be my beets. I've already got it labeled. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing things. I can, I can definitely see things evolving this year. Ooh, my saffron. Always look at my saffron. Love my saffron. Let's see. Oops. Let's see. I'm going to let this side. I'm going to try to be brave enough to cut this side off this year. I think I'm gonna take it all the way down. I think I'm gonna take it down. Hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. See, I get chicken. Every time I start thinking about cutting it back real far, that's what happens. But anyway, less is more. Let's see. Here's my catnip, and then here, that's where I'm going to try to plant some collards. I don't have good soil yet, so I don't know if I'll wait until the fall, which is probably what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll plant one or two plants, but wait until the fall to really put my collards down. My lavender. And then this is another good area for salads. My cilantro seems to be happy, and then my blueberry bushes. Wow, I've really messed those up, but I'm going to fix that. I'm going to take out a few of those canes and, you know, start trying to encourage new growth so I can get six canes going. Oh, my elderberries. This is what I'm excited about. I want some elderberry champagne so bad. Look at this. Yep, that's coming. And the mulch pile. Okay, it will not be long. It will not be long. Come on, Sasha girl. Come on, Sasha girl. Come on, Sasha girl. Oh, where's my coffee? Wait, what was I doing? I was going to get coffee.
You're cute. I'll keep you. You're cute. I'll keep you. Yeah, you're cute. You're cute. Coming to you from the mothership. I am locked and loaded. It is 2015. I'm locked and loaded to take on Garden Daddy this year. It's been long enough. It's year four on my garden project. done. I, plant, I planted them too soon and now I've got like extra work to do. I could have just done it when I was supposed to, but I'm excited. So I got started early, um, which is cool. I'm fine with it. I'm excited. This is fun. But um, anyway, I can tell it's going to be freezing today. See those little babies? See? Those mm -hmm. right there? Mm -hmm. Those are my black pansies. Mm -hmm. So I'm like super psyched. I'm a little bummed that in there, there's nothing. And those are my, my yellow wonder wild strawberries. I've got one plant outside. So I'm praying something will eventually sprout in there. Mm. But this, my black pansies, I'm excited. So, this is this week's excitement. I'm going to stop here.